because this co-main event, bro, Jonathan Martinez, what did I say? I spent the whole entire time harping in the pre-show, like, don't undervalue Cub Swanson here. He has all the tools to be able to get the job done. But what did Jonathan Martinez do to mitigate all of that stuff? AJ, in your words, what did he do to mitigate the full-on MMA approach of Cub Swanson in this fight? Man, blast out the foundation. <laughs> that's, right. that's, that's what he did. Absolutely yes. destroy the foundation and all the power Cub Swanson and all the technique he possibly could have had took the foundation right out from under him and you know what i actually think it's fair to say that he took a page out of giga chikadze's book because giga how did he have the success right let me blast the body blast the body boom 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 okay awesome well jonathan martinez took a different approach we know his left leg is already just dynamite right there right and you know he can crack you in all different varieties so what does he do he literally plays the game i'm gonna kick you inside calf kick right kind of more towards the knee to be fair right and then i'm gonna blast body kicks and then i'm gonna go back up to the head and i'm just gonna go between those three back and forth and back and forth and back and forth but what was more more impressive than any of that aj is that cub swanson the entire fight was trying to get into boxing range and martinez kept it at kicking range where he was the most dangerous that right there showed me that Jonathan Martinez, even though this was the biggest fight to date, man, this dude's ready to fight some killers. To be able to do that to Killer Cub Swanson, brother, that is absolutely no joke. And I actually have a fun little stat, man. Jonathan Martinez, he joined Giga Chikadze and Jose Aldo literally as the only fighters in Cub's 40-ish fight history to finish him via TKO. That is pretty damn impressive. How impressed are you with Jonathan Martinez's assurgence thus far? And being that I think this is like, he's not a notable finish guy, right? To actually land this finish right here and to look like a monster. I mean, great things coming, right? On a name like Cub Swanson and on a on a person where everybody was saying the um, the weight cut was going to make his, his chin a little glass. Mm-hmm. Bro, he didn't need a glass chin, man. He showed <laughs> that he could just demolish somebody's leg and body in the entire time with the, the tools that I'm presented. Jonathan Martinez is an absolute savage for that fight, man. And you could just hear the thud, the, the whap that was coming around off the Martinez left leg, man. It was crazy to see big win and this is going to speak volumes too man it's sad that it had to happen on an og like cub swanson but this is going to speak volumes to the legacy or the 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 fight career of jonathan martinez man very impressed the dragon showed up bro that was crazy and just i don't i don't remember exactly how many leg kicks he landed it says seven right now on espn but I, I think it was from the very first one that we heard land, that inside left leg kick. I think it took three to put down Cub Swanson, man. I'm surprised he even took three because if it been any normal person, that would have been one leg kick and you're done. But Cub Swanson, you believe three of those bad boys, and it was, man, rough rough but a good fight for both of them what do you think yeah absolutely brother now i absolutely agree with you that that's kind of the thing then when i was thinking about it right there i felt like it really was i know like the numbers right there's a guy like they were saying on the commentary there's somebody at home pressing buttons on a computer and that's what dictates like the the punch numbers and the strike numbers i think it really was only like three good ones bro that like destroyed the leg and that was the thing that you were noticing man because he was blasting that body you hear slapping off right and honestly sometimes you don't want that slap you want the thud you want the thuds because that's when you know it sank it deep but when he hit you in on that inside knee right there mm, yeah, i mean tough sledding man it was a quick fight jonathan martinez looked sharp man he looked amazing he was able to counter effectively um all of the things that i said cup swanson was going to need to do to really be effective he kind of did but he couldn't get past the kick range and that was the downfall man shout out to jonathan martinez bro that was a fantastic fantastic performance very one-sided but i mean who do you think, real quick, who do you think he gets matched up next with, man? He, You know he called out Dominic Cruz um, in the post fight, but like, who, who do you think he gets matched up next with? He called out Dominic Cruz, and <laughs> Dom gave him the most uh, respectful, yeah. you're never going to fight me, kid, ever yeah. in the entire world. <laughs> who is Jonathan Martinez going to fight next, man, in the bantamweight division? It's tough because he's not a ranked Ooh. guy, right? You know, And who's to say Cub Swanson win is not going to get you a ranked guy, but it could get you a 15 to 25, you know what I mean? And I don't have the, the fighters up right now, but just off the top of my head, I mean, even I couldn't see him fighting this top 15 guy, Jack Shore. He's at the end of the list, right? You know what I mean? Jack Shore is a stud. Uh, he has the grappling to kind of mix up that whole entire matchup style. And Jonathan Martinez, he was able to get out the takedown of Cub Swanson once. So, you know what I mean? Let's see what he can do against Jack Shore. Yeah, that's that's where I was kind of thinking that Jack Shore, that Adrian Yanez, that kind of that kind of area. I think a very fun yeah. fight, a mm-hmm. very very fun fight. Kyler Phillips. That'd be fun. Kyler Phillips, Jonathan Martinez. I don't know if they've already fought. No, I no, don't they haven't. So. Uh, that's a very fun fight. And then um, I don't think they'll give him though. Those and, and even the Jack Shore, Adrian Yanez, all these dudes are on the come up. So I think they're gonna throw him somewhere. 
you know, yeah. along the lines of like a Hayoni Barcelos or like uh something like that more yeah, so. Well, they're trying to get they're trying to refresh the uh the catalog, if you will. Yeah, we'll see what happens, man. Just know big things are on the horizon for the dragon, Jonathan Martinez. Last question, and I, I hate to drag this on so much, man, but Cub Swanson. Um, he joins the list of veteran fighters who decided to somehow, some way at like 38 years old, drop down a weight class and are not unsuccess or not successful. They're unsuccessful in that. Does he stick around at Bantam Weight? Or do you think that he goes back up to Featherweight? Like, do you think he gives it another go? Just a yes or no? I think he sticks around. I think he sticks around in the 135. It, it wasn't a. It wasn't a, an issue of conditioning or or chin or, or weight cut or anything like that that caused this fight. I think this is. You just got kicked in the knee, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll see. I don't even have an answer on that. We'll see. But-